morning guys welcome to today's video today is hay day on the farm getting the hay delivered we're getting a bunch of round bales delivered today uh, our horses went through one round bale in a week and it was kind of my fault because the uh, hay net came out but now we'll fix that so this morning I went to get this round bale and uh, so I, that's a new round bale on top of the old round bale but this time I put the slow feeder over it properly. Uh, we did it the other, we did it differently the, the other time and the horses pretty much pulled it off and <laughs> ate the round bale. But anyways, so now that round bale is sealed properly this time and hopefully it'll last longer than a week. Last year, I think I estimated one round bale per month and that was without chino too so now we have another horse so maybe that's why that round bale went in a week these are about these are four by five i think they're four by five round bales and when i estimated it last time i thought they would last a month they ended up, I think, three weeks. I was putting one in there every three weeks. All right, so here's my round bales. I got uh, at least, I got six of them. Now, I, I actually paid for seven. I bought seven of them. One's already in the feeder there, but these I'll be able to get with my tractor. I'll have to cover it up. This year's hay. See, it's kind of green. Grinding greeny still. Round bales, hoping that will last seven months but no it'll last probably October November December probably January if I'm lucky but what I plan to do is uh, continue to get my other round bales from them I'll put them on my truck because it's right now it's easier if it was on the back of my truck that's why I decided I wasn't gonna do that this year and have these out here I was gonna I was just going to have them so I can get them with my truck because it's easier to back up my truck and and dump in there than to get my tractor switch attachments get it with the tractor put it in there and it went uh, it's just easier with my truck a lot easier rolling it in but these are my spares so if I can't get a round bale I'll be getting my tractor out and putting these in there so now I have tarped this up today good morning guys welcome to today's video I'm just coming out to do my chores and I see Posy Pig, hi oh, baby. <laughs> She's like, how come you're behind the wall? I can never see her in the barn and then just walk by. I have to always stop and say hi. Same with Ellie. She's like, but Clint, can't you scratch my belly? <laughs> She's such a weird pig. You're such a weirdo. <laughs> she can't even fit in that spot. She just flops down. I love you, Posy Pig. Good morning, Willow. Good morning. Last night, we had some hooligans on the farm. Essentially, by the name of Penny. Penny was out there causing problems. I don't know if Sam already said it, but they ate a full round bale in just a couple of days. It's like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Five days. It took them five days to eat a round bale, but it's because the net that Sam put on it had fallen off, like the net that we use. But they ate it. They ate it in five days flat, and then when that was done, they ran down to go and eat the grass. Just like that. Just like Ellie. <laughs> Sam had that gate closed back there, and Penny doesn't believe in closed gates, so she just pushed right through it, knocked the gate right off, they're like, what are you talking about? What's happening? I'm trying not to steal Sophie's horse, but man, I love her. She's the sweetest. They're all like, pet me, pet me. But it's funny because my friend got a mini the year before we got her. And they were basically the same age when we got them. And then there was this year that her mini was wild. And she just said, she let it out in the, out in the yard, in the, she put it out in the field, and she said, I'll see you after the summer. So she just let her run free and wild for a summer. Hi, babe. And then after that summer, 
oops, the horse just came back to herself and was a normal horse after. And she's like calmer and better behaved. And Honey definitely went through a crazy stage as well. She definitely did. What's wrong, eh, baby? What's wrong? But I keep saying this in every video. Look at her hair. Do you guys remember when we got her? Her hair was like this thick, massive, puffy. And now it's just gorgeous. Don't be mean. It's just gorgeous. Like, it's, it's perfect hair. It's soft. It's silky. It's kind of wavy, but just beautiful. But she's our old girl. You're an old girl, aren't you? Yeah. Your eyes itchy. <laughs> I just tried walking away from her and she's just staring at me. She wants a brush. Maybe not a brush. She wants a pet. She wants a nice scrub, huh? I, so I wanted to update you guys about the, um, Sophie's riding. Because Sophie has to do school now, it's harder for her to find time to, to ride. It sucks. But it is what it is. But she uh, loves her horse and she loves riding. So she's definitely still committed. Gabby's not riding this year. She wants to really focus on her school and really like do her best. Which I mean she always does her best. But Sophie is very committed to riding still. So she's going to start soon back at our riding barn. And you guys will see. I'll take you with us. And that's going to happen soon because she has to prepare for champs. So if you guys don't know, our barn that she showed at this year is having a champs. It's three local barns at the schooling level and they're having like a championship between all three barns. So it's like the top five riders or something, the top five at the show, five or seven or something. Anyway, so we're going to that and she's super excited. So she's going to be start be preparing for that. And it's going to be winter soon, so she needs to start riding in at the barn. And we could uh, leave a lady at the barn, and and then that would open up a whole new world. Like, she'd be able to just go there whenever she wanted to ride, and then just ride. Um, and it would make it easier, but she loves having her at home, and we love having her with our other horses. I feel like our horses are better because of lady, so that's what we want to do. We want to leave her home and drive her in and do lessons at the barn. So that's our plan for the fall and it's gonna start any minute now. But what else is gonna start any minute now is that they need to clean up this poop pile again. Like, I've never ever seen them use this shelter more than they have just recently. So I'm gonna clean this all up and I hate doing it because it's really hard to get the wagon in and out. To do it, I have to go through two gates. And it's awkward because I always have to make sure that none of the animals come out. And our bucket is small. Our dump bucket is so small, so it takes me a million trips. Come on, Ellie. Come on, baby, come on. <sighs> Already hitting my first hiccup, you guys. Oh, she's peeing. <laughs> I honestly love this gate so much. And the reason I love it is because it's multi-purpose, so it can close that section off we can have like a, a closed area. Or I can close this section off. And little posy pig is hanging out down there. Tempting the, uh, tempt teasing the boy pig. Is good for another week another week it's three wheelbarrow fulls a week you guys so it happens when you have six oh six horses but you guys know Posey and Ellie still really love each other and I'm glad that they do because poor Posey doesn't have any friends on this farm <clears throat> no friends for her just me just me me and Ellie Get out of her butt. Ellie, get out of her butt. Ellie, get away from her butt. 
My son is dying of her pot belly pig babies, piglets. He is dying for them. He wants them. Everybody who comes here loves Posey. Like, they love her. Because she treats everybody that pays attention to her like they're me. She, like, she loves everybody that loves her. And if you don't love her, she's fine with that. She just walks away. She doesn't care. And I am not at all ready for pet piggies yet. Even though I want pet piggies and I think they would be really cute. Market for pit, pet pet pigs is not very good i would say the market for pot belly pigs isn't awesome right now like not everybody that has a farm wants a pig lots of people have goats and horses and chickens but not that many people have pigs right so i don't want to rush into something that i'm going to get stuck with a whole lot of pigs because i don't want a whole lot of pigs in fact i already have one more pig than i really wanted to begin with but don't get me wrong i love my piggies i love them both I just want, I just don't want like the property to get damaged from having like a whole bunch of pigs. But I also want her to have a friend and I do want to have one litter of piggies. Forget, they have to be like seven months old or something before a pig can be bred safely. And she's eight months, almost nine months. Um, but if I were to breed her now, pigs are pregnant for three months, three weeks and three days. Isn't that crazy? Three, three, three. Piggies are known as 333. Anyways, um, that would mean that she'd give birth in the winter. And pigs, baby pigs, don't necessarily, aren't necessarily able to keep themselves very warm because they don't really get a lot of hair. And they use like a lot of um, bedding and stuff and blankets to keep them warm. And because they'd be under all that bedding and it would be cold, I'd be worried that she would she would lay on them even though there are ways to prevent that but still i think posy would be a really good little mommy because she's so affectionate and so sweet but the time is not right yet that is for sure anyway i'm done out here i'm gonna go get myself a drink still have the cold you guys it's like hard for me to breathe still like when i go walking i'm <coughs> I feel so much like, I sound like Sam, <laughs> just from like walking across the room. But a cold's only lasts for seven to 10 days and I've had mine since Thursday. So it's almost seven days, What is it six days? Six days, tomorrow will be seven days. So starting tomorrow, I'm about to get better. You guys, my turkeys have not been coming oh to God, me. Oh my God, ducks like bread. <laughs> my turkeys have not been coming and hanging out with me anymore. Like none of them. And this boy has been wanting to sleep in the trees at night. So at night, he goes in the trees. And Sam and Sophie, who put them to bed at night, always have to come and drag him out of the tree. Every night we try and feed the ducks because they're the low man on the totem pole, or they're the low man in the, in the flock, and they never get to eat the food that we give out. And it's the easiest way to make them friendly. Do it. Nice yeah, so one of them got it. So I was just watching a show with Sam. We watch like a bunch of different animal kind of shows at night. And anyways, there were emus on it. And I keep telling you guys, we're definitely gonna get an emu next spring. So we're gonna get an emu next spring. It's like the thing on my list. I have nothing on my list for next year. We don't need another horse. We don't need, I mean, I'm gonna get, uh, we'll always be like, switching up our ducks and our chickens and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> we're gonna get meat chickens, but the only thing that we're gonna get next year that uh, we don't have already is an emu. Oh, we were watching these emus on TV and I just had this weird feeling coming over me. Like, I know we get emus. Not only do I know that we get emus, but I know that I love them. Like, I, I see it already, but oh my gosh, look at that. Do you know what that is? It's a fall yellow leaf and there's not a yellow leaf or even a yellow tree anywhere nearby. But honestly, I'm so excited about emus. Like I love my turkeys and I feel like my emus are going to be like my turkeys. Gosh, this is the most annoying thing. What the heck has been happening down here? Everything's moved. That's weird. Go ahead. Go in there. Hi, ladies. Whoa, hot cricket. 
so apparently Sam fixed the fence. Hey, be nice. Apparently Sam fixed the fence so that the goats can't leave this yard, but Posey can, but she can't come back. So I keep telling him all day, I kept saying like, you gotta fix it, you gotta fix it. And he has not fixed it yet. If she's gonna be able to get out of the barn, she needs to be able to come back down to the barn. Come on, Posey. <laughs> you got stuck, did you? She's like, hmm, where should I go? <laughs> go for dinner. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm really excited about emus. I'm too scared for ostriches, but those are my true love ostriches. But I'm going to settle for emus, and I'm so excited. Don't you know that?